In today's video, we're going to show the revamped built-in UIs of Lowcode and API Explorer and show how they can now be extended to use your own Vue 3 components. API Explorer and Lowcode are built into your Server Stack application by default and provide a way to automatically manage, explore, test, and integrate with your services. API Explorer shows you all your services along with generated forms and guides on how to integrate with each specific service in 10 different languages while Lowcode provides a turnkey solution to manage your data using your auto query services, again using an automatically generated UI. Both products have been improved by migrating them to the full Vue 3 framework instead of the previously used more limited Petite View. This upgrade prompted the expansion and incorporation of the Server Stack View library straight into the built-in UIs for an even greater amount of reuse and consistency with your application. And this also enables developers to benefit from easier reuse since now you can customize and extend both of these UIs using your own Vue 3 components. Today we will go through some of the changes and reuse and look at the process of extending Lowcode and API Explorer to use custom Vue 3 components. Here we have created a new solution using the Vue.mjs project template via the serverstack.net x tool with the command x new space Vue-mjs space myapp. Opening our solution and running our application, we have a fully featured Vue 3 application that uses JavaScript modules to enable rapid development thanks to not needing any build step. Just like with Petite View, we can extend Lowcode or API Explorer with custom JavaScript or HTML by providing custom files within the www root modules directory. Then we can create customizations using the UI directory for API Explorer or the Lowcode directory for Lowcode. Both applications then look for any custom.js, HTML, or CSS files as entry points for customizations. We can also add custom MJS files to a component subdirectory. These modules will be automatically loaded and can be used to override sections of API Explorer and Lowcode with known naming conventions. For example, if we wanted to customize the Details tab for a specific operation in API Explorer, we can create a new MJS file and declare a component called createBookingDocs. This follows the naming convention of the request DTO name, in this case, create booking, which comes from our C -sharp class for our request DTO, with the suffix docs as the component name. So when we load the details tab for the create booking request within API Explorer, custom components that are declared with this naming convention are automatically loaded. This can be used for custom behavior or additional content based on the request DTO, or we can also use c -sharp attributes to further populate information about our API using attributes like tag, description, notes, and explorer CSS. And if your service is an auto query service, we can apply view customizations to low code as well. By declaring a custom component called new booking, we can completely override the form for creating a new booking in the low code application. The new and edit prefix can be applied to the model name used by your auto query service, in this case booking. This will automatically override the built-in forms, making it extensible using your own custom Vue 3 components. Here we're overriding the default behavior with a modal dialog, but we're still leveraging the auto create form from the server stack view library. This enables us to customize the presentation of the form whilst avoiding a lot of custom code since we are still leveraging the server stack view library to generate the form for us from the metadata of our API services. 
This highlights the huge opportunity for code reuse when customizing the low code interface and your own Vue 3 application. You can provide your own UI components and your own wizard if you wanted more control over the user experience. And since we are using modular JavaScript, the development experience is fast. By using .NET Watch to run our application, we can create new components using custom MJS files in the components directory and we get hot reload for every change we make so that we're instantly testing our customizations. Provided the components you want to use have been rolled up and support JavaScript modules as the Vue 3 documentation recommends, you can import any Vue component directly from a URL, be it on a CDN or hosted yourself for rapid testing. To add some character to our new bookings modal dialog customization, I'm going to import a Vue 3 marquee component directly from the unpackaged CDN. Include the CSS in our custom.html file and add the component to our application using the app.component method. Then we will create some generated content for our marquee to show. In this case, we're using a URL which will provide generated avatars. And now we have a scrolling marquee view component working in our application. I didn't need to install a package dependency using npm or yarn, I just found the component I wanted to use that supported JavaScript modules and imported it directly into my application to rapidly test my change to see if that's the result I wanted. If you want to learn more about Vue 3 and JavaScript modules working together, the Vue MJS template that we've used here has a blog post that goes into a lot more detail. So I recommend checking that out if you create this project or alternatively, I'll leave a link in the description. By upgrading low code and API Explorer to use Vue 3 and the server stack Vue library has brought additional consistency through the various UIs, including the default auto HTML page for all your services. By using the format attribute on a property of our model, we can control the presentation of our generated forms in all three UIs and your own Vue 3 application or customizations. By adding this additional metadata about our services, it drives all the related dynamic UIs, making it even easier to share presentation and behavior while also making it possible to completely customize individual instances of each form. These customizations work with database or code first auto query services and we have example GitHub projects showing how these extensions can be used in our Chinook application and detailed explanation in our documentation. Links are in the description. And lastly, by upgrading your low code version 1 customizations from Petite View to View 3, you will no longer need to have a separate implementation between your View 3 components since you can share a single View codebase for common components. If you do have any issues migrating your components or customizations to the new version of Low Code or API Explorer, please reach out to us using either the ServiceStack customer forums or GitHub discussions and we'll be happy to help. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the ServiceStack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.